Hello, my personal care friend. Welcome. Just having a little chat tonight. I was already in my PJs and I thought, I haven't really done a chat where we talk about bedtime, we talk about cuddling, we talk about cozy, cozy fragrances. And as we're getting into cooler months with shorter days, especially, now's a good time to have that chat. And also, I'm home alone, so hopefully the noise will be minimal. And uh, you're in bed with me right now. Yikes, <laughs> for better or worse. So I have quite a few. I'm just gonna grab these at random and keep talking as I go. I think that when I think of cuddling or I think of going to sleep, I just want something easy, something not too complicated, and something restful. Now these are not date night sizzle kind of fragrance. These are cuddle, truly getting in rest mode, cuddle and sleep kind of perfumes, okay? So one easy component to reach for is vanilla. You'll notice there are a lot of vanilla based fragrances. I do love vanilla. And so that's part of the reason, but also they are just really good for chilling at home. They're relaxing, yet kind of empowering at the same time. Um, and so there are a lot of great vanillas out there. This is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Mist. Love these. They're amazing. You can sometimes get them on sale and get them for a really deep discount. And it's really a beautiful vanilla. It says vanilla cashmere and almost like a skin scent, skin to skin is what it says. And it also has like a tiny bit of a smokiness about it. And there's another one like that here. This one is Bodycology Cozy Fireside S'more. I really like Bodycology because they have no phthalates and parabens and they are cruelty free. And so there's a lot of good things about these. Like I spray these a lot more liberally than I would other mists and perfumes. And I didn't like this one at first to be completely honest, but it is kind of a vanilla, but a little bit smoky. It says return to the warm memory of fireside s'more with the aroma of marshmallow, sandalwood and chocolate. And this little bit of smokiness took me a while and it also has a little bit of musk. It took me a little bit of time to get accustomed to that. Like glass, I think I bought it last fall and I really didn't like it until I busted it back out this fall. And it, I don't know if it's because it oxidized or if it's just because my nose has gotten like a wider palette of smell, so to speak, that might be it too. Here's another Victoria's Secret Mist called Pastel Sugar Sky. It's also kind of sweet, vanilla orchid, cotton candy, and lavender, which is a really odd mix. I've talked about this one on another video before, and I mentioned it's almost gives me movie theater vibes because it smells almost like, like a sweet beverage, popcorn, and everyone's fragrances all combined in one space. It's just, it's an odd blend of notes, but it's really pleasant. And I do think it's a lot like Ariana Grande's, uh, thank you next, the first one. I had to think about which one it was. I think that's the one that it smells to me a whole lot like. That cotton candy is sugary without being so vanilla. It's not so vanilla as some of the other ones. I just got this one at Burlington. And I think you can get these at Burlington and TJ Maxx and those type of discount stores. English Laundry Cocoa Vanilla Drop. It really reminds me also of Cody's Vanilla Musk. I don't hear, I don't smell a lot of cocoa in it. It's more vanilla. It's also kind of powdery. So if you like a, like a powdery vanilla kind of scent, it's just easy breezy to spray. And that I kind of even would like spray this on like linens. I probably would, not my pillow, but I would probably spray it on a sofa or a pillow you know, throw pillow, things like that to make them smell good as well. Okay, here I have a couple of Sarah Jessica Parker fragrances. Some of hers are softer and so, so nice and even lovely. This one's lovely and lovely is, it is so smooth the blend, it's hard to pick out the notes, but it is cozy for sure. It's lavender, but it's kind of sweet. 
So I wouldn't, my nose wouldn't even necessarily pick this out as a lavender. And I just love it. It's just hard to even pick out individual notes in this. And it's just such a nicely blended, beautiful smell. And if you like Lovely, you also would like the products from Buff City Soap, if your town has one, in the scent Narcissist. They're very similar to me. And I love like their body butter is really good for my hands at night. So that's another thing you might use along with that for bedtime. Another Sarah Jessica Parker fragrance, Stash Unspoken. This one is a little bit nutty and it kind of, it's woody and nutty, very cedar. But if I just picked it up and smell it, it almost has like a pecan pie kind of element to it and cedar. And it reminds me of the smell of my gr grandmother's house um, as I was growing up that I would spend a lot of time at because she would bake desserts. She did have a lot of cedar furniture and this just makes me think of the smell of her house. So it's automatically gonna be a comforting, beautiful scent that I love to go to for the nostalgia. I'm kind of funny with things that are a nutty smell because either they turn on my skin or they turn on my nose. I'm not sure which it is. But after a while of a nuttier scent, I can usually only wear one for maybe one day and then I'm kind of done. And that makes me sad because this is one of my favorite fragrances that I own, but I cannot wear it more than one day and then move on to something else. And I'll come back to it. I keep coming back to it, but that's how it is. All right. And then there are a few fragrances, honestly. This is my one of my favorite categories of fragrances are these like soft, cozy scents. Really, that's my whole entire personality. Let me just be honest, it really is. Um, and there are some I almost wanna gatekeep so that I can always find them and everybody doesn't know how wonderful they are. And this is one of them. Uh, tackiest bottle, I know. It's kind of Vegas-y, right? If I think about it like Vegas, I just think it's, I get a kick out of it. It kind of makes me laugh. It's not that I think it's beautiful, but it's a little bit kitschy and weird. Um, but the fragrance itself, it's like, your skin but better it's clean i find myself like craving the smell which is so different but that's that's how i feel about it it's like i i want to smell it so if i've not put it on in the morning by the afternoon i'm like oh, i want to smell and it's called fiend fiend by a jessica simpson i hesitate to tell you about this one it's that good because i want to always be able to find it and on this is another one i hesitate to tell you about I really love and have difficulty finding this one. It's Mariah Carey. She had a, a line called Lollipop Bling, and this one's called Mine Again. And it's a cotton candy cocoa. <sighs> it's just so good. It's so good. It's powdery. Um, if you like kind of like a powdered cocoa kind of vibe, it just, it's so good. It's so good, I wore it today. It almost has a tiny bit of freshness in the very opening. You just sense like the smallest little amount of maybe mint, like a mint chocolate, but it disappears. And then it's just cocoa goodness and amazingness and forget I said it. You don't need that one. I need to find it in the store. <laughs> this is Ariana Grande's Moonlight. That to me, this is my favorite of all Ariana fragrances and it is dry, fruity, and although it is sweet, it's the sweetness is not out of balance. It's not more sweet than it is anything else. So I don't necessarily identify this one as sweet. I identify it as clean, powdery, and fruity. And it's just black currant is the fruit that you're mostly smelling, I believe. And I really love a black currant note. It smells so good. And sometimes when I spray it, it gets on this little pom pom. So, oh my goodness, it's so good. I love that one. You can tell th these are my my favorites. Anyway, I love these. And if I'm not wearing this as my primary, I'm probably layering with one of these. This is Pacifica Neon Moon. It is mostly cardamom with some sandalwood. And I love this. This one can turn other fragrances into what feels like a cozier fall scent. 
I've worn this with some of my straightforward floral fragrances. I just layer them together like um, Rose Rush from Paris Hilton is very, very floral. It smells a lot kind of like Lancome Doll. It's, it's got that kind of vibe. So it's really good mixed with other fragrances to kind of just give them, even though cardamom's a spice, my nose translates it almost more as a wood, but like the best wood smell possible. So Neon Moon, love it so much. I would, because Pacifica is a clean fragrance, I would spray this on my linens and my pillow. And while I'm on Pacifica, I'm just gonna go through some other ones. Island Vanilla from Pacifica. If you love vanilla, it's very simple vanilla, but you can't go wrong with it. And I like this one. You can get it in a glass bottle as well, but I like this hair and body mist because then it's not gonna dry my hair out. So you could, you know, mist this on your hair on a day you're wearing other vanillas and it's just perfect for that. So, or if you're wearing even other vanillas, I would, I would use this on the same day I'm using Bare Vanilla or another, spray this in the hair. And same with this one. This is another hair, Pacifica hair and body mist. It also can come in the glass bottle. One like this. This is Dream Moon. Now, Dream Moon is not for me for daytime. It's a little too much musk. But if you like, like Ariana Grande Cloud, if you're into that kind of vibe, even Baccarat Rouge, that kind of smell, if you don't mind that musk, this musk is really relaxing. So sometimes I spray this on the bed in the morning and by bedtime, it is just like the perfect amount of, what does it have in it? It says patchouli, but I don't really smell patchouli to be honest. Sandalwood and rose. It's more sandalwood and rose and a little bit of musk. It is really, really nice. It's really, really relaxing scent. And you might even love it for more than just spraying your bed. You might really like it for perfume. I have heard that one recommended a lot of times by other influencers, by influencers, I'm calling myself an influencer. You know what I'm saying. Um, this one is very gourmand. It's very foodie. Snowflakes and snickerdoodles it really does smell like snickerdoodle. This is by Scentworks. I got this one at Home Goods. I have seen this brand sometimes at Kohl's. I'm not sure where else you can get it, but it is another clean brand. And I love this. I love this. Sometimes I do just want to smell like a snickerdoodle. You know, no no shame in trying to smell like, and you know, we normally think of that as like something like younger kids will do, but you know what? I, I just sometimes might want to smell like a snickerdoodle. So this is it, snowflakes and snickerdoodle. And I got the lotion, the small lotion that goes with it too. Wonderful, delicious, amazing. Okay, this one might be my, one of my, maybe if not the favorite vanilla ever. Sweet on the Outside by Finery, which is inspired by Billie Eilish's Eilish, the gold bottle. Um, I didn't get Eilish because the bottle looks really sensual and I know my teenagers don't wanna think about their mother in a sensual sense, okay? I know this, I know this. So this is a great alternative and I have read so many reviews from people who have both and say the longevity of this one is actually even better than Eilish. It does last pretty long for me, even though it's soft, like you're not gonna smell it five feet away, but you will smell it for several hours. I catch whiffs of this forever and ever. I love it. So can't say enough good about Sweet on the Outside from Finery. And it is, I have one of, this is one of three finery fragrances I have, I really do. Del Target has some really good fragrance. They really do. Between this and Mix Bar and some other things going on in there, they've got, they've got quite a few good fragrances. Oh, the, how do you say it? French Frenchy, their vanilla, oh, cashmere vanilla, also so good. They have some great scents that would be good for bedtime. Check that out. Um, this is another one that deserves a lot of attention and it is Kumba Maid's Vanilla Bean Oil. And I like to use this. This is great all by itself, but it's also good to help your, the longevity of your fragrance to put this on first and then spray your fragrance. The problem with fragrances is that if your skin's really dry, they evaporate really fast. 
I'm usually an oilier skin kind of gal and I live in the South where it's not as cold. So fragrances tend to last probably longer on me than they might some other people, but it never hurts to, you know, help your longevity with something like a fragrance oil. So this one again, vanilla bean, amazing, beautiful, love it. It smells kind of like warm vanilla sugar scents and it's really lovely. Okay, that's a bunch of cozy, all kinds of fragrances. I think all of them were budget friendly and you can often find these at discount stores or online markdown. I'll try to leave some links below for ones there, but please check out the other videos I have. Sometimes I do videos about fragrance dupes and all kinds of topics. I'm here to chat personal care anytime. Let me know your questions and would love to connect. Thanks.